What's up YouTube and welcome to Neek Lives. Today I'll be showing you how to build an arc reactor. Okay, first things first, you're going to need a 3D printer. Whether it be a FDM printer or SLA, it really just takes a build volume of about five by five by two inches. If you don't have that, you can always just cut the pieces in a CAD software and then glue them together. Either way, uh, I'll be linking the pieces below and let me give a shout out to Misha T, I believe that's how you pronounce it, for creating this fantastic arc reactor. As you can see right here, uh, I've got all the parts printed out already and I've done some work to them. The first thing I'd like to show you are the lights. For starters, it takes a lot of LEDs to get this working. I used 5mm blue LEDs and a clear PLA for the part material. For those who understand the basics of electronics, you know in this particular scenario, it would be best to wire the LEDs in parallel. And that's what I did. For those who don't know what that is, just click right below, somewhere down below, right down there, okay, and I will have a video, or a link to my videos that actually kind of explains the difference between wiring in parallel and wiring in a series. I ended up taking all the positive leads from the LED and bent them inward. Uh, I can't, unfortunately, I'm, I'm going to just have to explain it because I can't really open it up to show you but essentially I put all of them in and there's some in the middle as well uh, not too many but a few um, I put all the LEDs in found the positive lead and bent them down don't didn't touch the negative leads because well I mean I'll explain it in just one second but basically I put them all down and then I soldered them all together then I took this tape right here uh, this electrical tape and I totally covered them because I don't want the positive and negative leads to get crossed at all. So then I bent down all the negative leads, soldered them all together. Um, you can see that right here. And then, voila, I've got it. And let me show you what it looks like right here. You can actually see the individual LEDs. Um, it it's quite a bit brighter from what from where I'm standing but on the camera it's not really going to show it as well so there is that moving on to the other parts I've sanded them down to begin painting for starters got this right here as you can see I've done some sanding to it mostly because I'm going to be painting them and also they're a couple different colors because I actually ran out of white ABS. I like to do most everything in ABS because where I live it gets really hot and PLA in the vehicle is 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 not good and I don't want to risk one day me forgetting something in one of my cars and it melting. So I sanded those down and I also did one other thing. This right here, if you look, um, if you actually look at the original STL files, it doesn't have this. Um, it, it has a hole down at the bottom, but it has like a little slit where you're supposed to be able to put the screw down, but I did not feel like worrying about that. So I went ahead and took a drill and kind of drilled both of these out. And what's that, what that's going to do is I'm going to put the screw in. And when I'm completely ready to put this all together, I'll screw it into the base. And then I'm going to take some um, some kind of like uh, ABS glue that I made. It's basically where I took acetone and combined it with ABS and kind of made a glue. And I'm going to fill it up here on top once it's all screwed in and then paint it with an airbrush. So that is a little something that I did just to make my life a lot easier because I, first off, the screw was not going to fit in between this little thing right here. So I just drilled it out. I knew it'd be much easier and pretty easy fix as well. Just use that glue, sand it down a little bit. Um, but yeah, basically my next step is painting. So let's get to that. All right. As you can see here, I'm using an airbrush to paint these parts. I really do enjoy the airbrush. Um, 
I'm kind of skipping around a little bit. It definitely took me a good while to do this. What I'm painting right now with is the Arctic Blue Model Air paint. Uh, the reason I chose this is because I, I looked at the pictures quite a bit, and it seemed like that centerpiece had kind of a bluish tint to it. So I, after priming the part, I'm doing kind of a base coat of the Arctic Blue and I'm definitely making sure that I get a good cover on it. I'm I'm doing it pretty thick here. It is going to be the base coat, and I really do want to shine through a little bit. I don't have any I don't have any translucent colors, so the way I like to do it with this uh, is just to do a very light second coat of whatever color it is that I'm using. Uh, I'll kind of explain what I'm using there. But as you saw what I just did, I just had to pull off the the dried up paint on the tip. You actually have to do this quite a bit because this paint does dry pretty quickly. And I'm working on a color change right now. I'm using a Vallejo airbrush cleaner right here. It's definitely the best one that I've found to do it. I've tried one other brand and it really doesn't get the job done. So I just like to spray it, uh, put it in, spray it quite a bit. And then what I like to do is what I'm about to show you right here. Uh, most everyone that uses an airbrush does this and it really works quite well. What you want to do is you want to take the airbrush and mash it up against something to stop the air from coming out so what it'll do is it'll bubble out of the top and this will actually really get quite a bit of gunk out you saw that color was very blue so what i'm doing right here is i'm actually putting the next coat that i'm going to do on and it's just a simple model air black and i'm i actually put a little bit of the Vallejo airbrush cleaner or no I didn't I put a little bit of the Vallejo it, it's the thinner and it thins it down a good bit so it's not so I'm not putting a dark black coat on there so you can really see that blue shine through a little bit not too much it's still it the the black definitely made it quite thick and right now we're moving on to one of the other parts uh, this is actually going to be the last part that I show you as far as the painting just to kind of give you like an idea of how I paint these I'm far from an expert by any means I'm actually pretty new to airbrushing uh, if we're going to be completely honest but what I did do I did sand the parts and then I definitely uh, did a nice very thin coat of primer that way a lot of the details can shine through and I also did a very, very thin coat of black on top of the, it's actually Model Air Aluminum color. Uh, I did the a very, very thin coat. I mean, you can see the black kind of lightly being plastered on it just to kind of give it kind of a little bit of, not necessarily a damaged look, but like it's it's gotten a little bit of maybe grease or gunk in there. But that is pretty much it as far as the painting is concerned. I definitely suggest an airbrush. They really are awesome. You can use um, spray paint, that's for sure. It is quite a bit of an investment. So if you're not up to it, spray paint works fine. And then doing more details with just a regular paintbrush, that works just fine. And here it is. Uh, this is the final version. Lit up. It actually looks quite a bit brighter in person. But either way, this is it. Uh, the rest of the assembly is pretty well self-explanatory. The one thing that I need to go over are the copper coils. It was quite a bit of a pain to do this. What I actually ended up doing was getting... Um, a pretty low gauge not too low actually probably about actually I believe I had a 16 gauge wire and basically stripped it completely and what I did was I just took took them folded them around and then glued them unfortunately I had actually glued it all the way around and I couldn't get the center 
ring up into it so i had to cut them right at the the corner of them but either way it looks quite good in person and i'm pretty happy with it so all you really have to do after you've painted it and everything just oh for the glue i used just regular super glue it worked pretty well so that's it if you like the video please like and subscribe